All right, here we are at the last day of this watercolor postcard series and I want to wish heartiest congratulations to all of you for successfully finishing the first four projects. And I'm sure you will finish the fifth one today. You have come a long way in just five days and you have learned so many techniques and tricks of watercolors which will help you in the long run. I hope you will continue your journey in watercolors and make more paintings in your own style. Okay, so with that affirmation, let's look at our last topic of the series. Today we are going to paint a bright and colorful hot air balloon like this one. Excited? I know I am. So let's get started. Let's quickly look at all the art supplies for those who joined us for the first time today. We are going to need a pencil for sketching and an eraser, a measuring scale, watercolor paper or a thick card sheet. It's completely okay if you don't have a watercolor paper, but make sure that the paper you use is thick enough so your paper does not buckle up when you put water on it. So make sure you're using a thick white paper. You will need watercolors of any brand that you have at home, a watercolor brush, a black sketch pen, two cups of clean water, tissue paper to dab your brush, and that's about it. Okay, so to make the sketching of hot air balloon easy, we are going to use this lid. It's a lid of a jar that I found at my home. So find a lid which is slightly bigger but smaller than the size of your paper place it on the top portion of the paper and trace a circle using the lid now if you observe i've drawn the circle in the top half of the paper leaving the bottom half for the basket and the lettering coat so draw a circle and then we are going to draw two slanting lines touching the circle and bringing them down at an angle like this. So we are basically drawing two tangents to this circle that are coming inwards like so and then we are simply going to join the two ends of the lines. Don't drag them too much or else you won't have space to draw the ropes and the basket below. So just pull it down slightly. Now I'm going to leave some gap in between say about 1.5 to 2 centimeters and draw a basket. I'm drawing a small thin horizontal rectangle and then drawing a basket joining the two ends with a curve. So that's our basket of the hot air balloon. And then I'm simply going to draw four lines which will act as the ropes. Draw the ropes at an angle too. So two ropes at the back and the side two ropes are the front ones. And then erase the remaining circle. So this is our sketch. Now we are going to draw the lines on the balloon. I'll start by marking a center on the top and make three dots, three equidistant dots on the right side and three on the left side. So we have a total of seven dots and we will join these dots with lines. So we will start by drawing the center line 
and from this line we are going to curve out all the other lines and join the dots the last one I'm just going to merge in the balloon I'm not joining with the dot as you can see take your time to draw these lines because later on we are going to color inside each of these lines or sections so make sure you draw these lines nicely like so and now we will draw two lines below the hot air balloon to write our coat and the coat that we are writing today is we rise by lifting others it means that we selflessly put the needs of others before our own needs but as we do so as we work to support the dreams goals and loving acts of those people others begin to take notice of us and how quietly we make the world a better place one person at a time then those people begin to respond by helping us with our needs and hence we all rise together And now let's start painting our hot air balloon. Rinse your brush nicely. And today we are not applying any layer of water. We are simply going to start painting our balloon. So the first color I'm using today is a beautiful turquoise blue or teal blue. You can use any shade of blue that you have in your palette. If you have a turquoise blue then please go ahead and use it. or else you can use ultramarine blue prussian blue cobalt blue cerulean blue any blue that you have in your palette and just paint the first stripe on the balloon be very careful to color inside the lines You can use any color combination that you want. You can use rainbow colors or just two colors, alternate stripes. Just any ideas if you have in your head, please feel free to implement those. I'm going to make my balloon colorful with each stripe of a different color. So if you want to do it that way, follow along with me. Okay. Now the next stripe I'm going to leave blank and paint the next one. So I'm going to paint the third stripe because if I paint the second stripe it's going to merge in the blue color and that that's not going to look very nice. So I'm going to paint alternate stripes first. So let's paint the third stripe. I'm also erasing some of the dark pencil lines that I can see. So I'm just lightening my sketch a bit. If you want, you can do that as well. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is going to be yellow. I'm loading my brush with lots of yellow color. and painting the third stripe nicely and slowly i'm going to stay in between the lines just a nice wash of yellow color Feel free to turn your paper around 
so that will give you good control to paint when you are very close to the lines. Now I am going to rinse my brush and move on to the next alternate stripe. So that's stripe number 5 and I am painting it pink. Nice bright hot pink. You will also notice that because we don't have any layer of water underneath, the paints are not going to run today. So they are just going to be very stable and you will have to move your color around. Usually if you tilt your paper on the water layer, your color starts to run. But this won't happen today. Okay, now I'm going to let the pink stripe dry and then paint the one next to it. In the meanwhile, let's go ahead and paint the basket. I'm going to paint it brown. Apply a light coat of brown because later on we're going to add some design on top of it. So don't make it too dark. I'm just turning my paper around so it will be easy to paint the curve of the basket like so. Don't rush, just do it slowly. Turning my paper around again, merging the color nicely. And now I'm doing the top rim of the basket with the same brown color. Making sure that it's not too dark because later on we are going to add design and border around it. Okay, so that's our basket. Now while the paint is still drying, let's finish off the lettering. I'm simply going to trace the letters with our black sketch pen. Check your spellings properly. And that's our lettering. Okay, so now the other stripes are still remaining. So let's go ahead and paint those after everything else has dried up. So I'm going to load my brush with lots of green color. And I'm going to paint the stripe between the blue and the yellow one. Paint it carefully so it does not overlap the blue and the yellow stripe. A nice fresh green should look very nice.
don't add too much water to your color otherwise it's going to be very watery and it will look like a puddle So that's our green stripe. I'm just filling out the small white gaps next to the blue stripe. Just filling it up nicely. And now I'm rinsing my brush and loading the brush with the next color which is going to be orange I don't have orange color on my palette so I'm going to mix a bit of yellow pink and red so I mixed my own orange and I'm going to apply it on the stripe between the yellow and pink one Turning your paper around is really going to make it easy for you. Alright, so that's our orange stripe. Now let's move on to the next one. The one next to the pink one, I think I'm going to paint it red. So let's load our brush with some red color. Okay, so now all the stripes are covered except for the small sections next to the blue and the red ones. So let's fill those up. The one next to the blue, I'm going to paint it red and the one next to the red, I'm going to paint it blue. I'm going to load my brush with the same turquoise blue color that I used earlier and then paint that small little patch. Make sure your red color has dried completely. Take a pause if you want. Let it dry and then come back to it. But don't rush. Alright, I think all the stripes are now looking nice and bright. I'm going to just trace the ropes, the four ropes, while the color is drying. Okay, so the basket has dried too. So I'm just going to do 
the top rim of the basket just adding a little border and then adding an outer border to the basket as well okay and now I'm just going to add crisscross lines on the surface of the basket and then from the other side the other end of the basket and we're just going to create a simple little pattern like so and that's it our basket is now ready so we will wait for all the colors to dry and once you think your hot air balloon has completely dried up we will add a little design on the surface I'm just going to add these C-shaped curves on the surface and then repeat one more border just below it okay so that's all about the design on the balloon and now I'm going to just add borders to all the sections and the outer surface of the balloon so just trace all the borders nicely and slowly and I will see you after you're done with that I think the balloon instantly starts to look nice after adding all the borders and that's it our hot air balloon with the lettering coat is now ready I hope you liked this video and today is the end of our series if you want more such videos please comment below and let me know what you would like to learn and we will see how we can go about it thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.